welcome back to my channel today i was able to play most of the extra chapters from Stary flowers which are essentially a spin-off of sorts that you can only unlock if you complete the whole game essentially those chapters showcase the relationship between pastilla and periwinkle after the events of the game and I'm happy to announce, and I know I say this a lot, <laughs> that both of them are still together and going strong. And <laughs> you can see basically Periwinkle getting jealous when he was introducing Pastille to one of his friends. And he was pretty much hitting on him. And <laughs> Periwinkle was pretty much like, mm -mm, nope, you're not taking my men away from me. The thing is, they were going to go clubbing and one of Periwinkle's friends, who is just as flirty as him, was pretty much um, trying to hit on Pastille and he was pretty much like, um, I'm flattered, but no thank you. And Periwinkle was pretty much like, mm -mm, you ain't touching my man. <laughs> It was really wholesome to see him jealous like that, but mind you, it wasn't jealous in a toxic way, but more jealous in the sense that in the sense that he's my boyfriend, don't you dare take him away from me. That's the vibe I was getting. Which, you know, it's understandable because unless you are in an open relationship, uh, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want your partner to be hit on by somebody else. It wouldn't be nice. <laughs> he, manages it, he manages it quite gracefully and even a little bit cheeky. <laughs> he pretty much told Pastilla, nah, we're not going clubbing anymore because I want you all to myself. <laughs> it was rather cute. Now, another thing about the extra content is that it has not only the music, but also the concept art. And s most of the sprites, no, no, no not, not most of the sprites all of the sprites that appear in the game, which is essentially really the reason why I age restricted it, because some of them were a little bit saucy, and again, I wanted to play it safe. It wasn't like something too graphic, but I'm worried that if I show it, I somehow violate the terms of service, because they're rather suggestive. That's... And that's the reason why I'm essentially, you know, making sure everything is okay. But that aside, the music is also pretty good. And not only that, I think it's rather, it's rather neat that they include, like, for example, some of the draft of the scenes from the game. I can't remember how, how many off the top of my head, but I remember one out of them. And I noticed that they have like three separate galleries for the CGs, you know, the horizontal, the vertical, and the big ones. And also, they, th they also have like, <laughs> oh god, I was about to say tambien. <laughs> for those who don't know, tambien means also. <laughs> Sometimes my Spanish kind of slips up whenever I speak in English. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, that aside, um, essentially they also have like chapters that happened in between the main events of the game, which this is essentially what I'm missing from the extra content because I've already played most of it. Now, as for my Ramona drawing, I have it mostly colored, everything is looking great, and I even have the background ready. The only thing missing is the shading, which I couldn't do because I was getting a little bit sleepy. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing. <laughs> I was getting pretty sleepy because I didn't sleep that much last night, you know, because I went to bed quite late, but 
that's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna get a lot of rest during the weekend, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, that's everything that I had to say for now. Oh, also, I pretty much learned today how to, you know, pick the colors from the screen instead of, you know, just a picture that I load on Clip Studio Paint. And I know that it might have seemed a no-brainer for the most experienced users of Clip Studio Paint, but I pretty much just learned about it today. And I know that I knew that you could do it on InDesign, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it on... No, 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 it wasn't in design. It wasn't Microsoft Word. My bad. <laughs> um, I knew that it could be done in Microsoft Word, but I had no idea whether Clip Studio Paint would allow that feature, but I'm glad it did. That's essentially how I took the colors for my Ramona Flowers piece, and I think I managed to get the hang of it, although I had to tweak the colors a little bit so they will fit more the color palette that Ramona has in the opening. And that's pretty much what I was going for, for in the sense of both the coloring and the shading. Like, I want to be able to recreate it. Of course, I took a few liberties because, again, I had to tweak the colors a little bit so it will suit what I was seeing on the screen. And also, I added a little bit of sparkles on the background because I felt that while I was, you know, recreating the blue outline that Ramona has in the opening, as well as the purple black background, um, the I felt that 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 I needed to add some spark some pink sparkles in it to you know fill it a little bit more. <laughs> well, again, that's everything that I have to say for now. I really need to get to bed. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Take care.